Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. If you wanna make AI generated images using stable diffusion, but you don't have a powerful computer with a super GPU, well, no worries because you can actually do it on your iPhone using an app and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's gonna be a one click installation of Stable Diffusion. It's really pretty cool. Let's jump into it and here we go. All right, so in order to get Stable Diffusion installed on your phone, the first thing you wanna do is head over to the App Store. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the App Store. And once we're here, we're gonna go ahead and search for this app here. The app is called Draw Things, so we're gonna go ahead and click on Search for Draw Things. And there it is right there, it says Draw Things AI Generation. So Draw Things AI Generation. And if you click on there, you can see it's gonna be from a developer called Lulu, I believe it is, or Lilu, Lilu, something like that. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but we're gonna go ahead and get this downloaded. And once you have it downloaded, go ahead and click the open button to open it up. And you can see here it says some touching up before starting. So we need to get some things started off here. And you can see it says download model from Draw Things official server. And we're gonna need to get that downloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and you can also, you can also use your own version of Stable Diffusion if you want, but I'm gonna show you just the default model here so we can get everyone going quick and easy. So we can see there it's already preloaded to get the uh, the generic Stable Diffusion version 1.5 going. So I'm gonna click proceed on here and leave everything else like it is. And you can see it says data usage, need to download uh, the selected model over the network. So we're gonna hit continue. Now I will tell you this is a fairly large download. It's about 1.6 gigs. So if you're not on Wi-Fi and you don't have unlimited data, just know it's gonna chew up some data on your plan if you don't have an unlimited data plan. But as you can see, it's downloading really, really quickly because it's coming directly from their servers. So it is, uh, it is zipping right along. But I also have quick Wi-Fi here, so that's helping as well. And how long it takes may depend on how fast your connection is. Now it's just about done downloading the, uh, the Stable Diffusion model, but once it finishes downloading, you'll notice that it's going to actually download a couple of other things as well. All right, so there we go. We have it all downloaded, and you'll notice here that it actually gave us a sample prompt here. So it's saying a professional oil painting establishing a shop canal surrounded by verdant blue, uh, modern, curved, rustic, uh, Greek theme building, yada, yada, yada. And if you swipe over, you'll see there's the area for a negative prompt. So you can put negative prompts in there. But let's go ahead, we'll just run this standard one just to see what it looks like here. And if you wanna change anything, if you wanna change the models or any settings or anything you can, you can see here you have it set to 100%. This is gonna be your seed number. You can just tap it to change it. You also have the size of your image, so you can change it and change the aspect ratio based on all of this right there, so however you want that. And if you wanna do more changes, click the little button there and it's going to then allow you to change your model. So you can load up different models in here, either the ones that are uh, preloaded and available to you, or you can go ahead and you can, um, you can load in your custom model by clicking on manage. So you can also add LoRa's and controls. You can do image to image, text to image. You can, uh, you can do scan alike. Uh, upscale images, you can change your, you can uh, control your steps and your, uh, your text guidance and all the other good stuff, your samplers, all the stuff that you may know or not know about and need to learn. Um, one thing I would say is to do is turn on and, and um, enable and download this face restoration. So it's not installed by default, it's called uh, Restore Former. I'm gonna go ahead and get that downloaded right quick before we start off because if you download any, any images and you don't have that on, you may end up with some really distorted looking faces, which is what we don't want. So, all right, it looks like we have that there. Um, you have high resolution fix, which I'm also gonna recommend that you turn on and just leave on. That way it'll fix anything. Now, I don't recommend that you turn on um, upscaler until you have an image that you know you want to really have at a higher resolution, because otherwise it just takes too long to generate your images. All right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and click generate and get our image uh, uh, image generation started. We can see the little blue boxes starting to uh, progress through there. And as it goes through, you'll start to see the image starting to come through a little bit. And we'll just wait for this to finish and see what the final output looks like. 
And there we go, we have our image generated right there and it's looking pretty good, I have to say. So it, that's it. It's pretty quick and painless. That is how you can install Stable Diffusion on your iPhone and you can start generating AI images quickly. Now, the beauty of Stable Diffusion is that it is open source and you can download all kinds of custom models for it. And before we get out of here, let me show you where you can go to download some custom models and how to quickly get them installed on your iPhone. All right, so we want to go ahead over to our web browser and we're going to go to this website here called Civit AI. That's it, civitai.com. And this has all, this website has all kinds of great models, custom models that you can get on here. And they have some really wonderful ones. This is one of my favorites. It's called Dream Shaper. And I'll go ahead and click that so we can see. And it's going to have all kinds of very cool things you can do with it. And you can, you can get stuff that's almost photorealistic. And it's more of a digital art sort of um, model though. And, but it does give you very, very great, uh, you know, images with a lot of detail on there. Now to get this thing downloaded, you just click where it says download right there. Now these checkpoints are going to be really kind of big. They're all going to be about two gigs and larger. So make sure you have some space on your device. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this to get downloaded. And it's going to take just a few moments as we see that download uh, start to progress in the address bar. All right, they're downloaded. Let's go ahead and click on the downloads button there. We'll show the downloads and there we have them. And while I was, while the Dream Shaper was downloading, I went ahead and uh, downloaded Realistic Vision uh, 3.0, which is a photorealistic model. So there we go. All right, we're gonna click the magnifying glass to open up the, where they're at, the location where they're at. And what I like to do is actually move these. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm actually gonna select um, I'm going to select the Dream Shaper and I'm going to select the Realistic Vision if I can find it here. Let's see, where did it go? Um, there we go, Realistic Vision. We'll go ahead and click that there. And I'm going to go ahead now and move these. And, and I want to put these in a folder. I want to put these in the um, in the draw things folder. So I'm going to find, there we go. There's the draw things folder and I'm going to go ahead and put it in the models folder right there. I'm just going to hit copy. That's going to copy it right to that folder there. And now when we go back to the draw things app, I'm going to go ahead and click this little button on the far right. And right here where it says models, I'm going to select where it says generic stable diffusion. I'm going to select that. And now I'm going to choose where it says manage. And I'm going to click that and on the very bottom we can see there have the three little lines for like a menu, the download button and it looks like a share button or something. I'm going to go ahead and click on the downloads button and where it says downloaded file on the very top, I'm going to go ahead and click that and I'm going to choose where it says select from files. And there we go and now um, it's going to take me to my models folder and I'm going to go ahead and choose the dream shaper um, model and I'm going to leave everything else just like it is there and I'm going to choose import custom model. And now we can see it's downloading or installing the custom model there. It's loading it up and it'll take just a few moments. And there we go. We can see it says uh, import succeeded. It says this model was successfully imported. So I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the same thing for the realistic, ver uh, the realistic vision model as well. That's our photorealistic uh, model there. So we'll click on the photorealistic vision there and that's going to load it up and I'm going to go ahead and collect, uh, select import custom model and this is going to then start uh, importing that model into the app. And there we go. It is ready to go. Okay. So very good. Now what we can do is, is we can go ahead and run this same, this same, um, you know, prompt if we want to, but with a different model and see how this looks. So let's go ahead and we'll run this first with say um, Dream Shaper and we'll see what this is going to look like. So we'll, we'll leave that, we'll leave everything just like it is. Um, and we will go ahead and run it with, uh, with the Dream Shaper model. And there we have it. It is finished and we can see it definitely has a different look than 
the uh, then this generic stable diffusion there. So we can go ahead and take a look. There is the generic stable diffusion, and there is the dream uh, the dream shaper there. Now you can also run this through the uh, photorealistic version, and I'll do that and. Uh, I'll do that and I'll show you once it's finished how all three of them look in comparison. Okay, so there we have it. This is what it looks like with the realistic version there. And yeah, so you can definitely see there are some differences with each one of them. So there is the, uh, that is the Dream Shaper. That is the standard uh, generic uh, stable diffusion. And that is the photo photorealistic version. So now mind you, the photorealistic version one, I had it set so that it was basically making an oil painting. So it probably the prompt probably ruined the photorealistic part of that somewhat. But you can see that changing the model definitely affects the outcome of your overall image. So anyways, there you go. That is how you can install Stable Diffusion on your iPhone with one click. And then you can add custom models in there and get a really cool image out of your uh, out of your stable diffusion right in your iPhone. It's quick, it's easy, and I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. All right, everyone. Well, there you go. That is how you can use your iPhone to install stable diffusion on your iPhone. Super, super easy, one-click installation. The app is called Draw Things. It's available right in the iOS App Store and it is completely free. The app is free, you can download the models for free, you can create all the images you want absolutely free. There is so much you can do with this app with Stable Diffusion, it just takes a little bit of time to actually go ahead and play with it and figure it all out and learn it. So, But I want to give you the basics of how to get it installed and up and working, including downloading some custom models onto your device. So there you go. And it's all offline. So you don't have to worry about any data. Once you have the models installed, it's all offline. You don't have to worry about any data being used at all. So yeah. All right. I'm going to leave links to everything down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'm also going to leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.